All right, for tonight's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick unbiased review of this Makita flashlight. This is a Makita DML812, and this is something my sister got me for Christmas. It retails, I think, between 80 and $90, something like that. And it's really a great flashlight. That's why I'm making this video about it. There's a few small things wrong with it, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm a Makita tool guy. I think they really hit that sweet spot between high quality and price. I, I think they're a really good value tool. You know, I have my original Makita brushless drill and driver set. Um, I've had that set for probably six years now with the original three amp hour batteries and it's still going strong. So I'm really happy with Makita. I think they're great tools. Not to say there aren't other great tools out there, but we're getting off track here. So let's talk about this flashlight. In order to turn this flashlight on, there's a little power button right here, which I'll press that button. And you have three different modes. Right now we are in a floodlight mode. As you can see, the, the light is spread out all over the walls. Now, if I hit this bottom button down here, right above the battery that says mode, press it once. And now we go in a dual function mode. So now we have a spotlight in conjunction with the floodlight. And again, if I hit the mode one more time, we go to a true spotlight. And if I hit the mode again, we go back to floodlight. So you have three different modes. You have the flood, spot flood combo, and then the spot. So you can pick whatever kind of light that you need for your application. Where I find myself using this light the most is in the floodlight mode when I'm working in the basement now. I'm doing a huge renovation job in my basement and it's dark down there. Traditionally what I do is I set up this Porter Cable Spotlight. This is an LED spotlight. It doesn't have a stand, which is unfortunate, and you gotta plug it in. But who wants to deal with the extension cords anymore, right? You know, I'd be tripping over the extension cord. Actually, what happened, I had this thing perched up high, so it was spreading out light all over the floor. Extension cord was plugged in. I tripped over the extension cord. This thing took a huge tumble, cracked the housing, and now it won't, now it won't stand up straight, which that's unfortunate. So, I find myself using this thing all the time in the basement for that floodlight. You know, I can just set it down, I can angle it up if I gotta look at the ceiling, it's great. I'm also starting to use this for making videos because a lot of people have complained that my videos have been dark in the past, so I can just use this thing, set it up, shine it in my eyes, blind my eyes, you guys get a higher quality video. How can you beat that? Um, in terms of the spotlight, it's great for you know when you're walking the dog at night and you hear a noise up in the woods, which I'll take you outside in a second and I'll just show you how far this thing can shoot, but I mean it. It shoots a beam pretty far. Am I allowed to say shoot? I don't know. Uh, yeah, what else can I say? What I don't like about it is this hook right here. Now, I do a lot of automotive repairs on family members' cars, and hopefully I won't have to do repairs on the truck, but I do a lot of automotive repairs. And the problem I have with this hook is it just doesn't really suit any practical application. I mean, what are, what are you going to hook it on? You know. It, it, let me grab a piece of wood and kind of show you what I mean. All right, so this hook, I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna hook it on a piece of wood and as soon as somebody knocks into it, it's gonna pop right off. So, I mean, you can't really hook it on the ceiling. So I think this hook is pretty useless. I think they re really need to redesign that. Another issue I have with this light is when I set it down on the table, I can't angle it down. That's kind of frustrating. I can angle it up. How, how far can I angle it up? I can angle it up to 90 degrees, which that's nice that I can put it on the floor and shine it up on the ceiling, but I can't angle it down, which that's kind of frustrating. I also wish there was a way that I could droop this up on like a car hood and shine it down onto the engine. So there's no really good way to do that. I mean, they have this little strap right here. I don't know how you're supposed to use this strap. I mean, sometimes I'm going out to the shed and I want to put the flashlight like this, but the way this strap is, flashlight points down. I wish it was pointed more forward, but I, you know, I guess that's okay on, on the floodlight. I can kind of see what's in front of me. It's not great. I wish there was a way that they could re-engineer this strap, maybe like hook it up here so that it's actually shining in front of you and not just down. So I think that strap falls short and I think this hook falls short. Other than that, I think it's a pretty good light. What kind of battery life am I getting? Now, I will say the majority of the time I do keep it on flood mode and it's not dimmable, it's just kind of set at one brightness. And with a five amp hour battery, I'm probably getting, I don't know, about six hours of runtime, which that's, that's pretty good, I think. 
right? I, it's just so convenient to swap out batteries and just set this thing up and move it wherever you need to move it as opposed to dealing with extension cords. So, but yeah, I think it's a pretty high quality light. I do like that it angles. I wish it could point down. I think this hook is flawed and the carrying strap is semi useful, semi useless. So other than that, pretty good light. So let's take it outside and see what it can actually do. All right, it's 18 degrees out, so let's see how long I can last out here. But there is the floodlight mode. And as you can see, it throws out a really nice wide beam, really bright. It throws out probably at 170 degrees in the horizontal and vertical notions. Just a really nice beam of light. Let's swap it over to the spotlight. Look how far that spotlight shoots. I mean, I can see probably a quarter mile, no problem. And if you go just straight spotlight, it's great for spotting deer at night. I don't know. I'm not really a straight spotlight guy now that you have the, the dual beam option. If I'm outside, I normally keep it something like that. So really great light. I'm going to go inside and warm up.